we're live we're live all right hey folks uh, i just had a gentleman on one of my old hojo jitsu videos uh asking about lengths of rope well there's no beginning length really there's just the, uh, two primary types of rope we've got the hayanawa and the honnawa or honshikinawa thought someone was coming home hey um alrighty. so with the with the hayanawa its primary purpose is the quick arrests, and the honnawa is for detaining the subject. Um, Hayanawa's length tends to be about a fathom and a half to two fathoms. Uh, so a fathom is one of these for yourself. All right, <clears throat> uh, it's an it's an old way of measuring things. Nowadays there is actually a, a I think it's metric a metric fathom, um, but at the time that these documents were written. That wasn't established or standardized. So, there's a text message. You sound like someone's coming home. And so here's a, uh, a Hayanawa. So this one in this case, I've got a nice little splice loop here. Uh, it's kind of like a shortcut for having a slip knot. And we've got it set in such a way where it can be deployed as such. This particular one I measured out some time ago. Uh, it is a legitimate measurement, it's not just me winging it, so let's find out how long it was back then. I'm a little bit dull on this. So we got one, two. We got two fathoms for this. So that's the length of that one there. Let me wind this up real quick. And I've got a honnawa here. Oh, I made a mess of that one. There we go. Boom, boom, three, four, five, boom, boom. All right, Hayanawa. Bing. And of course, we've got uh, the loop ready to be deployed on the fly. Uh, Honnawa tends to be thicker rope. In this case, I got six millimeter hemp. It's preconditioned and everything. All right, so this should be about five fathoms. For me, that's 28 feet. One, two, Midget. Alrighty, so that's five fathoms there. What's this biffy? Now with these longer lengths, I like to fold them in half. A little something I learned from Shibari. But in any case, hopefully that answers your question. Uh, fathom and a half to two fathoms for the Hayanawa, and uh, uh, and about five fathoms uh, as per some densho for the honnawa, the honshikinawa. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. And the honnawa tends to be bundled slightly differently uh, because when you're dealing with those long lengths, lengths, you're not trying to do all this sort of namby-pamby stuff with the, the, the rope still bundled like you might with the hayanawa. Hayanawa, you, you, dis, um, you deploy it as you need it. The honshikinawa, you use what's called uh, hinawa, the flying rope. Boom. And you do tie, 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 and the rope can be whipping around. Because this is not something you'd do on the battlefield. This is something you'd use on the battlefields. This is something you, you use when the uh, when the person of interest has already been arrested with the, the short rope. And then use the long rope to do something a little bit more permanent. Alrighty, so that's how that is. Bundle this up again. Fresh smell of hemp, eh? All right, so I hope that answers that question. And I managed to keep that under five minutes. Uh, any other questions, feel free to fire it off and I'll see what I can do. Otherwise, I gotta go on with my day. Cheers.